Today we're going to show you how to make this quadrant chart uh, using Excel. It's going to be a scatter plot, and I'll have different coloring back here. So, first of all, what we need to do is create this colored quadrant. So the easiest way to do it is come into PowerPoint. Now, what I've already done is I've come up here to design, change the slide to size to standard 4x3. I've also made sure that the ruler is visible for both the horizontal and the vertical axis. Now, I'm just going to simply add a shape. Making sure it goes to the zero on both the horizontal and vertical axis. Can you see that? Once that's there, I'm going to copy that, paste it, copy, paste, do that a couple times so you have enough for all four quadrants. And then you just move them to where they need to be. And then it looks all blue, which isn't what you want. Now you select them, come under shape fill, select the shape, the color that you want. The one we had was green and yellow. I didn't quite like that red, I wanted a different, a little lighter red. Okay, so now you're done here. Now you need to come over here to the file save, save as. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. We're going to save it as background. But you, the key here is you want to save it as a GIF file. So let's see where's that? Right there. Yes, I saved it from earlier. And we want to just export just the one slide. Okay. All right. Here's our data set. We've got several options here. We've got the cost and then the benefit. Okay. Now we're going to insert an XY chart. Everything looks right, except now as you start looking here, there's 10. There's no 10 listed. That's because, and if you select one of these dots here, it says 8 to series benefit point option 8. So what this is doing is it's putting these labels here along the bottom. We don't want that. So what we want to do, we're going to delete this chart. We're going to highlight just, just these two columns of data. Now we're going to insert it again. Okay. So this is more of what we were expecting to see. A five and a three. Five, three. Great. Okay. So now let's get the chart. Let's going to format format the plot area. Come under here under fill. Under picture or texture fill. This happened to be what I had last. But we're going to go to file. And you can see I've already linked to this before, but you're going to you're going to browse until you find the the GIF file that you had saved previously. Insert, and there it is. Well, things don't quite look right yet. So what we'll do is we'll highlight these, and we want to select the marker. We're going to select fill color. We're going to want a darker color so it pops a little more. Okay, well, we've got one through five. Let's assume that that's just a scale that we've got for all these different options. So we want to, we're going to want to format this axis so the maximum is five. That's the most you could get. And we're going to also want to format this axis so the max is five here. Take a look at this. This major unit here changed which is making the chart look a little busy. So what I'll do is I'll get, change that back to 1. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The, uh, the lines are a little bit um, 
I don't like how they look and they're not lining up with the middle so let's select the highlight the lines come over here we're on the major lines we're gonna say no line okay and then do the same thing for the vertical no line okay that's starting to look much better now let's label these data points so we're gonna add data labels well that's not what I want because that's going back and that's just pulling what the, uh, the label was here so let's highlight the label we're going to format the data label we're actually going to go value from cells a nice little feature it asks you what range do you want to use come over here and this is where you select all the option names that nomenclature you want to use click OK well it's still showing the option and then it's showing a value we want to get rid of that I usually get rid of the leader lines okay so right now let's that looks pretty good okay what I want to do now is I want to label these axes so it's really clear what's happening so I just want to make sure come up here I'm going to select the data edit it and I can see that the X axis column B is cost and the Y is C benefit okay. so we'll just cancel out of that um, add axes and this is cost benefit okay now what we'll do is we're going to make this a little bit so this this looks more like a square. We title this up here. Um, option options uh, analysis here. I'm not sure what I called it on that first chart. Okay. So the what I like to do also is make these bot dots pop a little bit come over here to fill I'm going to select marker just like a little darker color so it shows up better almost black dark blue okay all right now the thing that's a little bit that I don't like about this is the items that cost the most um, option one is in the green so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this I'm going to format the axis again, come over here to Axis Options, come down here, there's an option called Values in Reverse Order. I'm going to select that. So now the values are in reverse, so the more expensive options are in the red and yellow. You can see this item here, I'm going to just move that down. Looks like there's two that have a cost of, um, whatever this is. And we're going to select both of them. You can do them singular. It looks like we'll do them singular. Come over here to the label under the text options. We're going to fill it in with white so it, you can see it a little easier. If you want to, you can move this down a little. And there you go. You've got your. Uh, quadrant chart with your options plotted and quickly able to see where they fall with the benefit. Yes.